Red Norton again with TestingTheory.com. What if you could give your customers exactly what they wanted right when they need it? Today I'm going to teach you the testing strategy called the self-selection strategy, and this will help you get bigger lists faster by giving your customers exactly what they want right when they need it. At the end, I'll also show you a case study where there was a 47% lift just by using this strategy. One of the problems that most people have is they want to tell people what they think is best for them. And when we have this mentality, we don't allow people to choose what's best for them because they know better what they need than we do. The purpose of the self-selection strategy is to learn who your audience is, what their unique needs are, which then allow you to give them exactly what they want at the time they need it. The self-selection testing strategy employs some basic human understanding. Stephen Covey said, first seek to understand before you seek to be understood, and it's that listen first approach. That's exactly what this strategy does. In most of my videos, whenever I'm talking about segmentation, I recommend segmenting after the fact, after the test. With the self-selection strategy, what you're going to do is you're going to segment ahead of time by letting them tell you who they are. Then once you know who they are, you ask them what they want. So just to summarize, the self-selection strategy is a way for you to test to allow your visitors to tell you who they are and then for them to tell you what they want. We do this by having a series of questions as part of the user experience. I'm not talking about a survey, but more of an interactive widget that will allow them to tell you who they are and what they're looking for. So for example, suppose I'm a retailer selling clothing. The first question I might ask is, are you a man or a woman? Suppose the visitor says they're a man. Then I might ask, are you looking for pants or shirts or socks or shoes? Now suppose the visitor says that they're looking for shirts. The next thing I might say is, are you looking for a short sleeve or long sleeve or dress shirts or casual shirts? Let's say they're looking for dress shirts. Well, are you looking for iron or non-iron? Are you looking for something formal for work or for a special occasion? Now that you know what the visitor is looking for, you can then offer a selection of how you can solve that problem for them by offering exactly what they're looking for. Let me show you an example of what this looks like in practice. This is an example that I've taken from the Adobe Summit where Maddie Wishnow, who works with Accenture, was consulting with Vitamix. And the Vitamix came to him and said, hey, we know that we need to optimize um, some facets so people can filter and refine things and find what they're looking for better. And, and Maddie and his team took a step back and like, hey, well, let's figure out what, what the actual problem here is and we'll help the visitor solve for that problem. So what, the way they solve for that problem is by using a self-selection strategy. So Vitamix sells a bunch of blenders and they wanted to help the visitor find the best blender for them for the problem that they were trying to solve. So they created this self-selection strategy as part of a test. The self-selection experience that they created was called the Blender Recommender. And the first question they asked was, are you interested in a standard size or more of a personal size? They then asked the visitor what they wanted to make with their blender. Soups or smoothies or flowers. Do you want to make juices or dressings? They had all these things the visitor could then select to find the perfect blender for them. As a result of using this self-selection strategy, they were able to get a 47% lift for those visitors that showed a real intent for household shopping. Not only that, a lot of other metrics increased overall as well. There was a 13% in people who tried to find a retail location. There was a 5% in increase in add to carts. There was an increase in product detail page views by 5%, and there was an overall site increase in conversions by 3.5%. So this self-selection strategy works. It helps us solve people's problems because now we understand them and we know who they are. The self-selection strategy asks them who they are, what they're looking for, and what problems that, that you can help them solve. As with any testing strategy though, this testing strategy needs to be tested against other strategies. There's lots of testing strategies out there, and there's lots of things you can try to influence your, your visitors to have a better visitor experience and convert better. And so this one strategy shouldn't be your, just your go-to strategy, or, but it's part of your toolbox to use to figure out what's the best way to test to learn about your visitors. And again, the point of testing is to try lots of different things. And so you want to employ this self-selection strategy as in a variety of ways to learn about your visitors, just like you would with any testing strategy. Now it's your turn. I want to hear from you. When have you been on a site and they didn't figure out what your needs were, they didn't understand your problem, and they tried to recommend something that just wasn't right for you? When should they have used the self-selection strategy? If you watched this far and you found this video helpful, please like the video. And you can also visit me at testingtheory.com where I have more trainings and courses. So if you found this helpful and you like more in-depth and more advanced trainings on topics just like this, then visit me at testingtheory.com and check out my courses. Testingtheory.com, where professional testers come for better A-B testing and more conversions.